we have 3 raised to power x raised to power 2. We have 3 raised to power x raised to power 2 over 9 raised to power x equals 81. In solving this, I'm using the um, rule of indices. We have that 3 raised to power x raised to power 2 over 9 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 2x. And also, 81 is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, which is equivalent to 3 raised to power 4. Now, using the law of indices that says that a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is the same thing as a raised to power m minus n. So here I'm going to have 3 raised to power s raised to power 2 minus 2x equals 3 raised to power 4. Since the base are equivalent, then we can equate the powers to. So we have x squared minus 2x equals to 4. So I'm going to have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. Now, in order for us to solve this quadratic equation, we can we are going to use um, quadratic formula approach by saying that my coefficient of x, which is my a equals 1, b equals negative 2, and my c equals negative 4. Now, using the formula, I have that x equals minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So with this, I'm going to have minus b, which is negative negative 2 plus or minus root b squared, which is negative 2 all squared minus 4. My a is 1 and my c is negative 4 all over 2 times 1. So here I'm going to have 2 plus or minus root Negative 2 squared is going to give me 4 plus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 over 2. So here I'm going to have 2 plus or minus square root 20 all over 2. So applying sod, so I have um, root 20 is the same thing as 5 times 4. Why the square root of 4 is 2 and you have root 5? So here I'm going to have 2 root 5 over 2. So here, factorizing 2 out, I have 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So finally, my x is 1 plus, either 1 plus root 5. Um, let me call that my x1. And also my x2 is going to be 1 minus root 5. Thank you very much.